Hello everyone, great to see you back on the channel again, Peter Rising here, and I am here with another quick video for you. Before we get into things, please, as always, would you consider hitting that subscribe button for me? Hitting subscribe is free to do and uh, takes a second and it helps the channel grow massively. Uh, also hit the thumbs up button and turn on the notifications so you never miss a video. You can also become a member of the channel. There are three levels of membership that you can uh, join to show your support for the channel and get exclusive membership perks. So with that being said, another video. What's the topic of today's video? We're gonna talk all about the brand new version of Microsoft Teams. This for me has been a long time coming because I am an Apple MacBook Pro user and the new version of Teams has not been available to me until right now. I am checking it out in this video. Why don't you take a look along with me? So most people who know me well know that I am a Mac guy. I love my uh, MacBook Pro devices and have done for a number of years now. So proof, there you go. If I just uh, swipe down, there's all my Mac icons. So definitely using a Mac. One of the drawbacks to using a Mac and working with Microsoft 365 products though is that you have to typically wait a bit longer for some of the new features to be introduced into uh, your uh, feature sets uh, on the Mac. Case in point, an example that we're going to look at here is the new version of Teams. I finally here have the Try the New Teams slider on my Microsoft Teams application on my MacBook Pro. This is wonderful. What's it gonna offer me? It's gonna offer me a faster, fresher Teams, which is ready for you to try. You can switch back at any time. Well, I might wanna do that, uh, depending on just how much functionality I'm gonna be missing in this new version of Teams. I'll be completely open and honest. I've not had the chance to try the new Teams in any way, shape or form until right now as I record this video. This is because up until me seeing this slider, you've not been able to get the new version of Teams on anything but an actual Windows physical device. I thought, well, okay, I can't get it on Mac. I'll just spin up a Windows 365 machine or a VM or something like that. But uh -uh, no, you couldn't do it on there either. So if you didn't have a full um, Windows device, then you're not getting the new Teams. But here we are, we got it finally. Let's slide the slider and see what we get. Okay, what do we got? We got the Teams Pre logo, preview the new Teams. It's faster and lighter, better performance and lower memory. That can only be a good thing. Multiple accounts and orgs, awesome. This has been a long time in the making and will make life so much easier. Seamless collaboration across accounts and orgs. An updated look and feel with improved channels and meeting experience. I can get it now, but before I do that, I wanna see the full list. Where's it gonna take me? What's it gonna take me to? We've got a link there. So this is awesome stuff. We can include that in our uh, description for the meeting. Okay, let's go ahead and get the new Teams now. So the new Teams is downloading and will automatically open when it is finished. I can cancel the download here if I want to, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's let it do its uh, thing and uh, let's see what it does. Okay, so it's popped up with an installation wizard on my Mac, and yes, in case any of you are wondering, that is our nation's capital of London and Buckingham Palace, where our King Charles III um, claims to live, but he doesn't. He actually lives down the road at Clarence House, and I took that photo way back in 2018, I think. Glorious morning it was, about 8 in the morning. Fun fact. Okay, but... I digress, we've got an installation wizard. Uh, you'll be guided through, let's continue. What have we got? I want to install it onto my Macintosh HD. Let's do exactly that. Uh, custom install, we've got a package name, we've got a Teams audio driver, it all seems good to me. This will take one gig of space on your computer. Wow, I remember when one gig was a lot. Um, so, okay, it's fine, let's go install. I wants my admin password so let's pop that in so we can install the software i would also like to access my downloads folder well if you must you must writing the files 
Install time is going to be about a minute. This seems all good to me. Running the package scripts, and oh, I can see something launching down there in the bottom. And it randomly cut off my recording at that point, so hopefully that doesn't seem like it's too much of a disruption. Hopefully it'll be more seamless than I feel it will be right now at the time of recording. But here we go. Uh, we've got some notifications. What's new in Teams? We've got updated call notifications, enhanced theme integration, multiple accounts and orgs, add and switch between your accounts and orgs. Uh, continue. Yes, please. I'd love to. Never miss a notification. So remember to turn on notifications for the new Teams in your Mac settings. Go to System Settings, Notifications, Microsoft Teams Work Preview. Okay, I may or may not do that later because I'm I'm very fussy about how I want my notifications. I, I don't necessarily want to have them on uh, all the time or I want them just how I want them. I'm sure you understand. Share your screen with others. You need to turn on screen recording on your Mac before you share your screen in Teams for the first time. Okay, go to System Settings, Privacy and Security, Screen Recording, Microsoft Teams Work Preview. That's fine. So if I, if I go to Settings, Will it take me straight there? Screen recording. Um, all right, Microsoft Teams work preview is not there just at the moment, but maybe it might take a little time to appear. Maybe, who knows? Uh, we'll come back to that. Okay, one last thing. Scan the QR code to get the Teams mobile app. Don't need to do that. I'm happy that I don't need to do that. Okay. So this is it, I'm into the new Teams. I've got some of my Mac alerts there, which I'll just turn off. I'll make the screen big so you're not looking at Buckingham Palace anymore. What have we got? What have we got? Um, it doesn't look massively different at first glance, but what I can see is that it is much easier to switch between organizations. So if we go and click onto my organization name here, which is Chrysalis Technologies at the top right, we can see that you can easily switch to other organizations that you are a guest in. That is fairly much as it was, uh, not a huge amount of difference there, but you can also, and I'm, just as a disclaimer, I did pause the video briefly and add this in, because it was going rather clunkily, is the word I will choose. But you can add in other Microsoft 365 accounts here that uh, you uh, own or use, and you can easily switch between. So there you go, how easy was that? That would have been a really different process in the, uh, the old Teams client. You would have to sign out as one and then sign in as the other, whereas now you can just switch between those so I can go back from M365 there, Peterizing M365.com, back to Peterizing.co.uk, and nice and simple indeed. So in terms of additional features, I've not come across an awful lot more than that, but that in and of itself is a really big leap forward. And I do suspect that more features will be coming uh, very, very soon. I think that was really the big one that people were very keen to uh, to explore. This is really nice, actually. Activity in your other orgs and accounts is highlighted here. So it's telling me here that there is, that I have a mention. I wonder if I click on that, it's gonna take me right to it. Oh, that's interesting. Cool, uh, and it does indeed, it switches you right over to it, um, which is, oh, that's in the guest account. It's uh, perhaps not as massively instinctive as it could be, but, but good nonetheless, cool stuff. So where can you learn about all this and get more information? Well, there are some useful links and I'll include these in the description for the video. This one here seems particularly good, um, introducing the new Microsoft Teams now in preview and it goes down and shows you some of the, the features that you got. Broadly speaking, it just seems to be faster, more resource efficient. Um, application launch times, there's a video comparing the experience, the ability to collaborate more effectively across organizational boundaries. We just demoed that and that is really, really good. And a few other things there as well. So well worth a look through this documentation. 
Um, there are some other uh, links as well. Advantages of the new architecture. So if you're really into your definitions of what's behind the versions of Teams, what's under the hood, like Electron versus WebView 2, and what that all means, and how it relates to the different platforms, then there's a lot of data available in these documents here on techcommunity.microsoft.com. And there's this one here as well, where we get the full announcement uh, about the new Microsoft Teams, and you can uh, see lots of different training guides and how it applies to commercial and education. What's coming later on in the year? Mac, VDI, and web platforms. Well, Mac's already out now, as we can see. Uh, lots of really, really cool stuff. So I urge you to check it out. Let me know what you think. And there you go, that's it. The new Teams on a Mac, no less. It's been available, as we said at the start of the video, on Windows devices for quite some time now. Uh, still a preview and um, I like what I see. I think it's uh, got potential. I love the fact that you don't have to switch to different uh, uh, logins for different tenants now. It's that, that, that experience definitely seems a lot, a lot better, a lot more instinctive and easier to uh, do on a day-to-day -day basis. A lot less disruptive, shall we say, so that's cool. Eager to see what more there is to come. I think most of the improvements are probably going to be under the hood or under the bonnet, as we would say in the UK, um, in terms of performance and that sort of thing, which can only be a good thing, right? Because teams, the old teams could be very, very resource-hungry, that's for sure. Um, I experienced that on an older laptop that I had a uh, a Microsoft Surface device where Teams could uh, really, really uh, impact its performance and cause it to overheat, but there you go. Right, well, another video done. Hope you're enjoying the content. Hope you'll consider subscribing. Hope you'll think about maybe becoming a member and uh, see how you can support the channel to grow and reach that wider audience. So lots of ways you can support and uh, uh, get involved, leave me some comments, let me know what you think of the new teams, if you've tried it, what your thoughts are, and um, get in touch on Twitter as well. I'm always open to uh, have a discussion about all things Microsoft 365. Until next time, I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.